On Friday, 13th of November, terrorists split blood in Paris. City of love, city of light, our city. A city that you may know, amongst other things, as a wonderful place for a romantic or family holiday. A city of oppressive monuments, delicious food, cultural diversity, a symbol of what terrorists aim to destroy. The victims of these terrorist attacks were people like you and me, people who wanted to enjoy life, to have a drink at a bar, a snack in a fast food, to watch a football match, to go and see their favorite band. It could have been anyone. As Friday evening went on, we received messages, made phone calls, and progressively found out that our friends and family were all right. Unfortunately, many weren't as lucky as we were. People have lost their parents, their children, their friends. And today our thoughts go out to them and the victims. In other places, other countries, there's no explaining to do. Terrorism is everywhere, every day. So in the end, this is what it comes down to. What do we want future generations to read in their history books in five, 10, 20 years from now? Very soon, and in fact it has already started, some people will start to point fingers at the Muslim community, at refugees. Their hatred is what terrorists want, because hatred divides when what we need is unity.